today's the day, so stand up and shout. G -G -O. You got to play to win. G -G -O. Let the games begin. You and your team keep getting better. You're good alone, but better together. G -G -O. You got to play to win. G -G -O. Isaac found out that Myth has been given a vitally important mission and has to get to the World GGO Tournament. But Coleman, Isaac's dad, doesn't want Isaac to be the one to take the mission as he doesn't think he's mature enough. To prove that he is capable, Isaac has decided to enter the GGO Regional Tournament with Myth. His team's opponent is Team Perseus with 37 straight wins. Episode 3, Battle in the Arena. Come on, how are we going to defeat a team with 37 straight wins? Who knows, once we start playing, maybe we'll be the team that has 38 straight wins. The way I see it, there are only two possibilities a team can have 37 straight wins. Tell, Tell us. us! Option one is they're cheaters. Come on, Timmy, this is a tournament played to international standards. They're electronic referees that monitor every match. If they really were cheating, they could never win 37 games without somebody noticing. Hmm. Well, the other option, I'm afraid, is even more shocking. And, and what's, what's that? that? They got lucky. What? No! 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 Better to be quiet than let people know that you're dumb. Talent's the most important thing in this game. And that is something I firmly believe. No, you beat me again? I'm not even gonna beat you once before I have to leave. Young master, the GGO Regional Tournament has sent you another message. You've been given a challenge for 3 p.m. tomorrow. But the tournament ends in two days and somebody wants to challenge us? I know it's him, isn't it? It couldn't be anybody else, right? Isaac? Yes, that is correct. I think that tomorrow's game will be very interesting for a change. Might I just say that it's very nice to see you so enthusiastic about something, young master. Hmm. That's my GGO card. It says we have a game tomorrow, right? That's right, Myth, and it'll be pretty tough. See, we're playing a team with 37 straight wins. Does that bother you at all? No. We're robots, and so we don't feel pain or fear. All we know is how to perform to the best of our abilities. We do not judge, and we do not overthink. We are machines, after all. Well, that's why GGO tournaments are the fairest competitions in the entire world, because every player does his utmost to win the game. See, the only human influence comes from the human controller's instructions given to the players. Correct. This is what makes the game interesting. The flow of the game and the result depends not just on our skills and our ability to cooperate, but on our human controller's mental state, confidence, emotions, judgment and knowledge of the game everything rests on you and i can see you're under a lot of pressure you're right about that but the only thing that matters to me is that you do your best and not be distracted by anything else so keep your mind clear and i'll take care of the rest and thanks a lot for talking me through this don't thank me thank the program intelligence that all ggo football players have been given by our programmers and by our creator and that of course is your father <sighs> That was a great pass, Myth. Mm -hmm. Cat, come and take a look at this. Huh? 
So, what is it? See, this is the building beside the field where we'll be playing tomorrow. These kinds of buildings present a serious problem, though. Oh, yeah? What problem is that? The kind of problem that can determine the outcome of an entire game. Spell it out for me. Uh, I don't know if I can. What? Of course you can. Now think. We need to win this game, you know? Uh. Come on, Isaac. What is it? Talk to me now. <laughs> 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 Wow, look how focused he is! Even screaming can't break his concentration! Uh, uh -huh. Hey, uh, why are you looking at a building? Come on, quiet, guys. I'm trying to find the key to winning our game tomorrow. so many girls here today. Our school doesn't even have this many girls, right? Why didn't you wait for me? Why? You said you'd call me before you left, but you didn't! And what, well, what we... You what, huh? I stayed up all night making this banner for you, you know? See? Go, world champions! You're the best! Go, world champions! Kill, kill, kill! Kind of the reason I didn't want her here, you see. She's way too over the top, don't you think? Well, actually, for Kat, this really isn't too bad. She can get a whole lot louder than this. You don't even want to know. I am your manager, after all. It's my job to cheer for all of you, and I don't intend to hold back on the volume. Yes! <laughs> Talk about over the top. Who is that guy? Oh my gosh! He's so handsome! Looks like Sean's got another fan. You must be Isaac. And you must be Sean. It's nice to meet you. You know you're showing disrespect to both your opponent and the game of Gigio football by not wearing the proper footwear. Hey, buddy, I've been wearing flip-flops my entire life, and you should mind your own business. Hmm. Sheesh, talk about arrogant. Yep, another gorilla. Go, world champions, you're the best! Go, world champions, kill, kill, kill! Registered a team name. Because we don't have a name yet. Uh, well, come on, quick, Isaac, think of a name. Hmm. I think I've got it. We're Team Barefoot. Team Barefoot? Perseus versus Team Barefoot. Young Master, which class would you like to use today? For them, this will do. <laughs> We're calling heads. So then we are tails. The kickoff will be decided with the coin toss. Heads for Team Barefoot, tails for Team Perseus. Good, heads. 
We'll kick off. The match has begun. Team Barefoot versus his latest challenger is a new team. How will they match up the Perseus with a 37 straight win? Okay, Myth, since we don't know their strategy, I need you to go on the offensive and score first. <laughs> Got it! Team Barefoot forward Myth has exceptional speed. With one leap, he clears Perseus' forward Cobra and moves up the field. Will he get past Nucleus, though? Push him now, Nucleus. Let's see what this player is really capable of. Amazing! He's not only fast, but a great traveler as well. But Nucleus is still a better player. Nucleus has Myth all boxed in. Myth passes the satellite on his right. That's it, satellite. Now pass it back to Myth. Satellite kicks the ball in the penalty area. Myth and Kaxi leave at the same time. Who will be the one to get it? It's Myth! Team Barefoot are up on an early offensive blitz! Shoot now! Lower right! Wow! What a powerful shot! It's a save! Percy's his goalkeeper Shadow stops the backspin through his incredible wrist strength! Yeah, okay, that was pretty good. He's not bad. That Nucleus has the ball and is heading for a one-on-one -on -one with Barefoot's Titan! Okay, Titan, stay calm. He's either gonna go left or right. And I think it'll be... He's gonna go left! And he's passed! Nucleus clearly our classless Titan! Hey, I said he's either gonna go left or right. Get it together! Shoot now. Lower right corner. Nucleus too slow! That's the right and all! Stone gives a huge lunge, but it's too fast to him! <laughs> The save! Myth from out of nowhere! How did he get back there so quickly? That really took no time at all. His speed is extremely impressive. Oh, these guys are super strong. They've got us beat in terms of organization, rapport, formation, and defense. In particular, that midfielder of theirs, number 10, and their goalkeeper are top-level outstanding players. I guess that means we're gonna lose for sure then. Come on, it's only just started. Anything can happen. Remember that, Timmy. I'll tell you, these guys are on the offensive, and that's for sure. But still, we need to hold them off in the first half, no matter what. You, you bet. bet! I'll help out any way I can! And therefore, I'll run the move again. <laughs> yeah. I'm very disappointed with your performance so far. Why is that, Gorilla? Nobody's scored yet. All your weaknesses will be revealed in the second half, Isaac. So you better be careful. Hey, are you calling our players weak, you Gorilla? Who do you think you're talking to? Who are you calling a Gorilla? Relax, we yell at all of our enemies. Don't take it personally, you, you Gorillas. gorillas. <laughs> Pathetic. Where's your sportsmanship? You'd better be ready for a nasty shock in the second half. Once we change sides, this is our game. The second half begins with a score still 0-0. Zero, zero. Perseus will kick off this time. He will break the stalemate and score first. That Perseus is definitely on the offensive. Barefoot could be in serious trouble here. But here come Kanta and Kaski, like a pair of iron gates. How's he going to get past them? Okay, stay calm, Myth. Use the posts if you have to. Uh -huh. There's no way he can score from that angle. Uh -huh. He was using the rebound to get past the two uh -huh. quarterbacks. Nice one. Now that's a creative player. 
shoot, Miss. You got the upper left corner. All right, new please. Show them your stuff. Omnidirectional tackle activate. <laughs> Here it comes! Nucleus' signature move! The omnidirectional tackle! Hit is in trouble now! Oh, scary. That's one ruthless move. What's the big deal? It's just like a tackle. Hey, satellite, move up and help! Mm. Oh! A beautiful back pass! But Nucleus' defense is still holding strong! Satellite kind of passed! Wait! It was creating a diversion! That's it! Upper left corner! Hurry! Another shot! Ah, what a save! Turn it! I'll break through next time. They've got all these amazing signature offensive moves, but they don't have any defensive moves. How are we gonna beat these guys? Look, the omnidirectional tackle has to use up a lot of power. And they obviously can't use it that often, or they'd be using it all the time. Don't worry, guys. We'll find a way to break through. Satellite, don't go head-to-head -head with Nucleus. I want you to pass to Frozen instead. Seems like Barefoot aren't slowing down at all. They're still on the offensive. <laughs> it looks like they're getting ready for another shot. Upper left corner again. Now! You got it! <laughs> and he goes for the upper left corner again! Right where Shadow is standing! Why does he insist on shooting towards that corner? I don't believe it. The upper left corner is a vulnerable area in a normal soccer game, but there is no need to insist on repeatedly shooting there. Shadow, their defense is all forward. Make a long pass to Nucleus. Yeah! Uh oh, looks like yeah. Barefoot have been caught out. Nucleus is moving fast. <laughs> this might be his big chance. Where did our defense go? We've only got Titan back there. Oh no, that's it! It's all over! Look, this isn't slowing down at all. Will Titan be able to stop him on his own? Hey Titan, it's the same as before. It's either... It's always the same. It's either left or right. Come on, stop wasting his time, Timmy. Here comes the big shot. Titan's blocking the goalkeeper. I don't think he can see the ball. <laughs> This doesn't look good! Yeah. Ah! Goal! It's 1-0! Ah! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that was amazing! That? Great that job! Was amazing. Hey, come on! Oh, Whose side are you on anyway? Oh, I Go want to see that again! Kill, kill, kill! Yeah. They just scored in like five seconds! Why do you keep hitting that corner? The goalkeeper was right there! Maybe because it just might have worked that time. That's why. Barefoot kicks off again, and there's still Myth heading up the offense. Meanwhile, Perseus are looking revitalized after that goal. Yeah! Barefoot need two goals to win. They'd better get moving. Careful, Satellite. Don't force it. Pass it to Myth. Oh, now that was a nice move. And it's Myth versus Shadow again. Hit the upper left corner! Again? Another easy save! Why is he still shooting at that corner? That's Mitha's third failed attempt at that corner! What are you doing, Isaac? Stop hitting that corner and listen to your teammates! Just trust me, okay? And here's another complication, the rain. I wonder how this will affect things. Ew, I mean, rain. That was a long pass from Shadow. He was aiming for Nucleus again. Ah! Oh, oh. the same move Nick just used. Another goal! With the same move Myth just used! Nucleus is a quick learner. He copied his opponent's tactic in record time. Talk about impressive! Are you kidding me? Copying our move? 
Don't you guys have any shame? You should be ashamed. We were just trying that move out, and you let that easy shot in. <laughs> They're better than us, that's for sure. But remember, a game is never over until it's over. So don't lose hope, okay? Only a minute left in the game now. Team Barefoot are unlikely to manage even a tie when they even score a single goal. Before goes the shot, it passes the satellite. I'm gonna do my own thing. Satellite, hit the right side. Here comes Satellite for the shot. It's a solid shot. Oh, too bad. Shut up. it. And there's the whistle. Pushes to get the 38th win in the group challenge round. Oh, man. Tomorrow is the last day of the challenge, and I want another game. Good. Another game against him? You can't be serious. Cat, I've never been this serious in my life. You're right. You're all talk. Hmm. The GTO Regional Tournament is the first hurdle that every GTO team needs to pass on their way to the GTO National Tournament. The country is divided into 32 regions, and teams within each region challenge each other. Winning teams are obliged to accept challenges from other teams. They are not allowed to turn any of these challenges down. The final winner from each region qualifies for the Nationals. Stand up and shout, G -G -O. you got to play to 